In this video, I want to show you how to code a BMW uh, F series or G series using ESIS. So for this, I need my tablet, my wireless router, and of course the icon. First thing, I need to power on my wireless router. Like so. Keep it here. Next step, I will connect my ICOM head. Like so. And of course, I need my tablet. I know probably you'll have some questions about the ICOM. I will manage to connect it with my wireless router and the tablet. The ICOM, it's an original ICOM, it's not a clone, and it's connected wirelessly with this router and that tablet. The setup it's very simple. You need to set up the head first. You need to set up the name of the wireless network and the password. The same name and password you need to be set up in this router. This is a router, an internet router, but I don't use it for internet. It's only for this hotspot uh, thing. It doesn't have a SIM card inside, doesn't have nothing. For example, I have the same settings in this router done on my phone and if I don't have this one with me I can use my phone every single time. You need to set up the same password and the same wireless name. And also I have the same thing on my tablet. Uh, I told you this is an original icon next. If you have a cloned one you need to make sure that your it's capable of wireless connection. Most of them they will say they are but you need to make sure that you have inside the physical wireless hardware because I've seen some of them, they don't have that. Okay, next, uh, long story short, this is my uh, X3 F25. If you watch this channel, if you already seen, I have a video where I have retrofitted a tow hitch on this car, an aftermarket one. And now I want to code the multimedia, the CIC system with the tow hitch for the rear view camera to be able to set the camera to see when I'm backing up to hitch a trailer or something like that. Before I will start to code this car, I want to show you how the system is looking before coding. So I will switch on the ignition. I will activate the PDC system. And you can already see here, I have my 360 view camera, 360 view image. This icon from here is for the rear view camera. If I'll select it, I'll have rear view image, rear view camera. Uh, with this system, with the rear view camera and the classic image, I can use it to align my tow hitch because the tow hitch, this silver part from here is my rear bumper and the tow hitch will be somewhere around here, the ball head. Now it's disconnected, it's in the trunk. But if the car was equipped with tow hitch from factory, I will have another icon here to select the tow hitch image and the image will tilt down to have perfect view on the tow hitch head and the trailer head to align them together. So this is what I want to code now. First thing, I want to make sure that my tablet is connected with the wireless router. I will click here and you can already see I am connected with this wireless router. ISAP is the name. I don't have internet access because I told you I don't need internet access and that router is only for Wi-Fi. Uh, hotspot for the hotspot itself. Uh, next step, I want to see if the head is connected with the router. For this, I will open iTool Radar. And you see, the router is already connected and it's free. This is the IP ending in 101. I can close this, and next step is to open ISIS. Double click. Now, with ISIS opened, I will go to expert mode coding. I will connect with the car. First, I will switch on the ignition, of course. 
I am already on my F25, F025 from this list because this is the platform of this vehicle. I will select the first option or I can select the third option but not the second and the last one with direct. You can see here I will connect via ICOM internet and the IP is already here. I will hit connect and the connection is established when I will see this image here, this screen. That means the car is identified. I will hit OK. Next step, I will read the vehicle order. I will right click on the FA and I will activate the FA. Next step, I will read the VCM. And this list from here, I need to wait a couple of seconds. This list from here, it's populated with all the control units that are on this car. For example, you can see here, this is the ACSM, this is the airbag module, CAS the anti-theft the safety module, the CAD is the monitor, the screen for the multimedia, and I need to find the CIAC head unit, FRM, head unit CIAC, car information computer. I will click on the folder and I will click here read coding data. I can right click also and do the same thing. I will close this uh, screen. Now after I have done that, I have a new folder here. I will extend the folder. I will select the CIFD file. I will right click on the file and I will hit edit FDL. After I have done that, ISIS will throw me in this new screen. And here it's the entire list of options that are able to be coded on this module. For example, the header is the head. I have information about the module and the car. And if I know exactly where in each folder it's my uh, coding option, I will go directly in the module and I will start to select and activate what I need to do. But I need to search for, let me see, trailer. I have this option here for the search box. Trail, let's see. And you can already see here macro trailer coupling. I will extend this folder. I will select, let me go like so. I will extend the folder and I will select the last one. I cannot pronounce that. And you can see it's NICT active. That means it's not active. I will double click, edit. I will select it from here and I will activate it. Now it's active. Next step, let me go back a little bit, like so. I will save it from here. Saved. Now it's saved. I will go back in expert mode, coding. I'm already here in this screen. I will hit code FDL. Code FDL. Now ISIS is writing on the car what I have changed. The head unit is restarted. Uh, close, I need to see this green uh, message from here, SD deploy finished. If it's green, it's okay. So I will hit close. And at this moment, I'm done with coding with the ACES. Let's see. I have my screen here. I will hit my PDC button. I have my rear view camera and you can see down there it's a new icon trailer hitch zoom let me go back in rear view camera and trailer hitch zoom bang let me go back on the back of the vehicle take the tow hitch I think it's okay in that position. 
only for the to check the video settings and you can see the hitch ball is down there nice and this is how you call the BMW using ESIS be careful this is not a do-it-yourself video even if it's shown you step by step how to do it if you don't have the proper equipment the proper software you can do something wrong with your car but in most cases 99% of them when you do something wrong with coding every single time that can be restored without any big problems but there's a small chance you can destroy something the most important thing and the, the most riskiest thing is to do software update re, uh, reprogramming on a module if you don't have the equipment you have the if you don't have the proper information you can break the module for example you will send the programming command the module will receive that command will erase everything and when the equipment will try to write new information on that module that information won't be written because you have a corrupted information you have you don't have the proper setup or something between them and in that case you will break the module and it's gone and with this i hope you learned something new if you want to see more videos like this let me know in the video description and until then thank you for watching these videos again thank you for being with me and until next time you know the drill stay awesome bye now